Good morning, grade 4 learners. Welcome to another episode of Science for Valenzuela Live. I am teacher Jennifer Cabanting from Arcadio FT Ato, your science virtual teacher for today. Before we continue in our discussion, let us have first our attendance. Comment down your name, grade, and section. Also, write down the name of your school and science teacher. For our reminders, please refrain from using unnecessary words in making comments that are not related to our topic. Today, we will be working on some activities so that you may be able to give examples of loud and soft sounds. I think you're ready. Please have your module, pen, and notebook to take note of the important details or points to remember. Let us continue our discussion about sounds. Before we proceed, let's have an activity. Close your eyes for one minute and remember the sounds that you will hear. Now, open your eyes. What are the sounds that you heard while your eyes are closed? Type your answers in the comment section. Great! Animals and objects around us produce sounds and even us. We use our ears to hear different sounds. Sounds are all around us all the time. There are so many of them and we call sounds with different names. Sounds differ. They may be loud or soft. A loud sound is produced when a great force is applied and a soft sound is produced when a lesser force is applied. Knowing what a loud or soft sound is helps you become extra careful in hearing them. First of all, we need to know what are the words that we will encounter as we go along with our lesson. Are you ready? Direction. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Type your answers in the comment section. Number 1. What is a type of energy that is made by vibration of objects? A. Heat B. Sound C. Force D. Light If your answer is B, sound, you are correct. Number 2. Which of the following produces a loud sound? A. Chirping bird B. Beating drum C. Ticking clock D. Buzzing bee If you answered B, amazing! Number 3. Which of the following produces a soft, soft sound? A. Buzzing bee B. Piano playing C. Ticking clock D. Telephone ringing The answer is A. Buzzing B. Number 4. Which of the following is correct? A. Whistle, loud sound B. Whisper, loud sound C. Crying baby, soft sound. D. Fire truck siren, soft sound. If you answered A, whistle, loud sound, wonderful. Number 5. What do you call the softness and loudness of sound? A. Volume. B. Vibration. C. Force. D. Intensity. The correct answer is A, volume. Let us answer again the following active directions. Group the following words into soft sound and loud sound. Type the letters of the correct answer in the comment box. You have one minute to answer. Timer starts now.
Let's check your answers. Here are the answers for soft sound. A. Dripping water. B. Buzzing bee. D. Ticking clock. E. Whisper. G. Kiss of a snake. And I. Chirping bird. And here are the answers for loud sounds. C. Megaphone. F. Roaring lion. H. Sound of airplane. J. Trumpet. K. Ambulance siren. And L. Thunder. Did you get all the answers correct? Good job! What is sound? Sound is a type of energy made by vibrations. When any object vibrates, it causes movement in the air particles. These particles bump into particles close to them, which makes them vibrate to causing them to bump into more air particles. Loud sound can be unpleasant to ears. It may cause you to cover your ears. It has a high volume and are easy to hear. Soft sounds can be pleasant one. It is usually quiet and has a low volume. Also, may be difficult to hear. The pitch of a sound depends upon the vibrations of sound in one second. That is, the frequency measured in hertz or hz. The greater the frequency, the higher the pitch. The lower the frequency, the lower the pitch. Female voices tend to be higher or shriller than the male's voices because female voices have a higher pitch or have a higher frequency. In a case of a blowing of a whistle, a greater number of waves pass in one second. It means it has a higher frequency that results in high pitch. In a case of a sound of a cow, however, fewer number of waves passed in one second resulting in low pitch. Let's sum it up. Choose the correct answer from the box to complete the sentence. Type your answers in the comment section. You have 30 seconds to key in your answer. Timer starts now. Answer. The type of energy made by vibrations is called sound. When any object vibrates, it causes movement in the air particles. Loud sound is produced when a great force is applied. Soft sound is produced when a lesser force is applied. Lastly, volume is the softness and loudness of a sound. Did you get all the answers correct? I hope you remember the things we have discussed. Now, let's check how well did you understand the lesson. Directions, type heart icon for soft sounds and thumbs up icon for loud sound. Number 1. Ambulance siren. The answer is loud sound, thumbs up. Number two, whisper. The answer is heart, soft sound. Number three, cat. The answer is heart, soft sound. Number four, fire proper. The answer is thumbs up, loud sound. Number five, alarm clock.
thumbs up, loud sound. Number six, rolling drums. Answer is thumbs up, loud sound. Number seven, thunder. Thumbs up, loud sound. Number eight, airplane. Thumbs up, loud sound. Number nine, heartbeat. Heart, soft sound. And number ten, dripping water. Heart, soft sound. Very good. Now, let's have our trivia time. Can human ears hear all sounds? What do you think? The answer is no. An average human can only hear sounds between frequency of 20. The sound waves that fall within their frequency range is called audible sounds. The sounds that fall below 20 hertz and beyond 20,000 hertz are not audible to humans. Did you pick up any information today? If you agree, then please press the heart icon in the comment section. For further questions and clarifications, do not hesitate to ask your subject teacher so they could guide and help you in answering the activity sheets. Once again, this is Teacher Jennifer L. Cabanting of Arcadio F. Teato Elementary School, your science teacher, and I hope you learned something today. Stay safe, everyone!